when I made the decision to join the probation service, I've come into an environment which I feel like I belong in. I feel like the service gives me the confidence to be able to do my job correctly. So whilst training to become a probation officer as part of the university course, the academic side is a, a hugely important part of your training. There's a 21 month route, which is the route that I took, which was coming from a background where you've perhaps never come into contact with the criminal justice system before. In your first year, on the 21 month route, we had four modules to complete, which involve a series of 3,000 word essays, and that then progresses to the level six part of the qualification, where again, you have to write four 3,000 word essays, but the format of those essays is very much evidence in your practice. You start thinking about how those theories are linking into your assessments of people, and depending on the levels of their risk management, that might dictate what sort of things that you need to put in place. So working with different agencies, or it might be the frequency of their reporting. But ultimately, everything that you're putting in place is there for both their own, what we refer to as desistance, so stopping them from committing any further crime, but also to protect the public. There is a lot of support for people that are maybe not used to writing academically. You have your PTA, your practice tutor assessor, who is able to help make sure that your learning needs are supported and the lectures are all online based as well. So in previous careers, I've been in roles where it's very much about clocking in, clocking out. I didn't really feel like it was worth it for me. It didn't give me what I needed. For me, I've, I've always felt like I've had a want or a need to try and help people. But since joining the probation service, I often find myself thinking about how a person on probation is getting on in that role that I pushed them to interview for or the service that I referred them into. I think there's a number of different skills that you can bring to be training to be a probation officer. I think having good organisational skills, having the ability to keep lots of plates spinning at once, a drive and a commitment to sort of progress and help people is something which would definitely shine through. You're dealing with all sorts of different people's backgrounds and it does build resilience and you will find that you're capable of a lot more than you realise. You can make a big difference um, to people's lives even if it seems insignificant, it can be massive for people. So if you feel that you've got the skills that it takes to become a training probation officer, then absolutely go for it.